so students this is the continuation of the previous lecture in that lecture we were looking at storing the data about a football match season and there was a log table also there now the manager of that uh, record keeping soon realizes that there are certain issues with that record keeping mechanism and in this lecture we are going to talk about those issues and how those issues can be resolved so this is the uh, the, the module coverage for this module removing data redundancy redundancy is that the data which is getting repeated and that data doesn't changes so breaking the data into multiple tables so we have a table of more or less static data and we have a table of changing data i will go through the details and i will also show you a picture also then when we have this static data table and we have that dynamic data table we need to link them together that is what the relational model is all about and then of course uh, briefly talk about in this module and in subsequent modules a lot of discussion and examples of the mysql sql mysql is the database and sql the structured query language so let's go ahead with this module inefficient table structure why because i give you number of examples for example when a player is playing and he performs good or bad the nickname of that player can change so when the nickname changes then this table in which the log of the matches was maintained that change has to be reflected everywhere that's a big issue it's a performance issue also then of course uh, when a player enters his data in that table there are number of things which are constant constant means that they don't change for example the phone number of the player the address of the player and other related things which are fixed right of course the date at which the match was played is changes but the problem over here is there is lot of redundancy there is lot of repetition and not only the repetition is there but when the change has to be made that repetition decreases the performance it affects the performance it unnecessarily increases the size of the table in which that constant data is being being repeated again again and again so what we do some update in the multiple uh, records so this problem was handled by dr cord so he came up with the different rules of normalization which we have already covered in the prior modules so what the dr cord's rules covered was that we ensure that there is no loss of data we ensure that the relationships are there among the different data elements and we can query all the data to get the answers which we are looking for so what is the solution over here this is the solution over here is that move the separate the static data and we have that dynamic data also okay we have that dy dynamic data also and we have this this static data and we have this dynamic data and we link them together so collectively we are going to use this right this relationship among the tables which is the basis of the relational model to get our answers from this database so let me get into more detail into more concrete so we have this table of about the players this is the static data i was mentioning and this is the match log this is the dynamic data i was mentioning now all the keys over here they are unique they are unique so this is the primary key over here it is not null it is not null i will talk more about it and over here the keys are repeating for example this key is repeating over here this is repeating over here and of course this is repeating over here this is so this is not this is the foreign key this is not the primary key right now this is a one to many relationship we have this player of id 6 and he is playing the matches okay on this date and on this date also so we have over here is that one to many relationship so we are able to link multiple tables which is the static data and the dynamic data and you see there is less repetition 
there is much less repetition over here this is the beauty of this approach of course this is normalized so now we have to query this how do we query this we use sql the structured query language and which is the standard for the relational model it means that if you have a relational model then it's going to support sql right and using this sql you can create you can update you can delete okay and of course there are different dialects of the sql across different databases so more or less uh, it, it is going to be the same some differences might be there the basic concepts are similar so uh, of course we'll be discussing more of this interesting stuff in the next modules so that's all i have for this module